Students are reciting their morning prayers at the on-site elementary school of the Shri K. J. Mehta Tuberculosis Hospital. They are the children of the doctors, nurses, social workers, and custodial staff that work on the 100-acre, 747-bed compound located in Amargad, a small town in the state of Gujarat. Amargad is a serene farming town with less air and noise pollution than more industrialized cities such as Ahmedabad and Mumbai. Purely um, unpolluted air. They can stay with their family. It is one type of uh, quarter. Yeah. We say it is a oh. row house, one kind of row house. To institute, they give only rent, and it is token rent, hundred to six hundred rupees per month. That patients are taking away from the city polluted area. They brought, uh, they were brought to the separate area on hilly area with the good weather and with the good diet. So immunity will raise uh, without stressful life. I have a question. 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 I I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what Transfer do three days. Ah, after that, I will go home. Anna. Anna, tell me, what clip did you see? Anna, 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 Chirae <laughs> At present, there is a scenario okay, why government should spend much money when there is a RNTCP program. So, required number indicated patients should be admitted, and so TB hospital should be a smaller unit, not this much big unit. So, we have a large infrastructures, we have a many wards, capacity of 750 beds, we have a full-fledged equipped laboratory department, operation theatre, we have an educational wing. But uh, at present, because of the RNTCP program, and in RNTC program, it is particularly based on the domiciliary treatment, our most of the beds are empty at present. A custodial staff member gave me a tour of the empty hospital wings that have been closed since India adopted the RNTCP. It was haunting to think of how many tuberculosis patients could potentially be treated here if only the hospital had proper funding. Within these empty rooms, thousands of lives have been saved. And the condition of a tuberculosis patient in 1945 to 1950-1960, today we are seeing in the society, the condition of HIV positive patient is the same as it was previously for tuberculosis patients. 
so if we want to give something to the society and such neglected patients we can develop this center as a aids care center second thing regarding mdrtb as all the facility available here to diagnose to treat to cure the drug resistant tuberculosis patient including surgery we can develop this center as a treatment center for drug resistant tuberculosis as per who guideline as per who level and as per the quality services western countries has been uh, very successful in the uh, preventive measures but after the advent of the uh, uh, AIDS crisis in United States and the uh, tuberculosis has been uh, resurgent. The United States is also not immune to poverty, which can ultimately lead to a compromised state of health and thus a resurgence of TB. This, along with increased illegal immigration into the U.S., makes preventive measures especially important. If you lack the uh, measure to prevent the, Ill the disease, definitely the disease will come back. And uh, if the body immunity goes down, or people getting the population getting older, and if we're not careful, the disease will come back. If we have something very much consistent with AIDS, knock out the immunity huh, of the patient, it will become more prominent, prominent. So, because of that, we have to uh, really keep the pressure on the uh, on the uh, uh, preventive measures to guard our population not to be ever infected by TB. It will happen if we are not careful.